legalizing cannabis, I understand everything about the medicinal side. People say that you know you extract it from the oil and the medicinal side for pain, and it's very helpful. Da 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 da. Yeah, okay, I get that. Um, but I want to bring again the spiritual side of this quickly. Marijuana, cannabis, is a drug. It is, it is a drug like most other drugs that will, it has the ability to be able to get you to be totally disarmed in your mind. And that's what it does. It is able to make you compliant, it definitely changes or alters your mood. Hmm? If I'm talking to people who've been in the drug world, it, it alters your mood and it, and it alters your mind. There's no way whether you're a a pot smoker all your life and people tend to, when they do that and have relationship to it and will want it, they'll say that it's quite healthy and all that sort of stuff. No, it isn't. It is actually the biggest part of how demons get access into people's lives um, at will. See, demons can't just gang bust or party bust your, 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 your life and come into your life. They need for you to cooperate or that you do something that is, is um, abusive, that is wrong, and that gives them access way. That's the way, because otherwise we'd it'd be a very chaotic, messed up world. It is anyway. But you understand what I'm saying? So with, with demonic invasion or access into your mind, once your mind by drugs is compliant, your, your mind is neutralized. There is no defense, because the will now is complicit. Most of you know, I've taught this, pharmacia, of course, where you get the English word pharmacy. But pharmacia, witchcraft, was actually using mind-altering, mood-altering stimulants like drugs, alcohol, all this sort of stuff. It, all it was was to deceive you into believing um, that what you're taking was beautiful and good, utopia. You know what I mean? You know why? Because the feeling's so good. Because it does take away the restraints in the walls and the protective walls of your mind down. You're more likely to sleep with somebody that you should do when you're stoned. You're more likely to be open to all sorts of silly stuff and plans because you're not in your right mind. That's right, it isn't. It's neutralized. So demons come in. Look at this. In 1 Timothy, it says here, a very good and a very important thing. 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1 to 2. So most people's mental instability is caused by a spirit, not natural. The mental health issues we're facing are not natural, they're spiritual. So those that have been on drugs, meth, coke, whatever else, uh, those pills that they have that give you a rush and whatever, you know, all of those things is nothing to do with the physicality of it and the measure of it, and you can go and argue all about the H. CB levels, HLB levels, you can argue about the medicinal levels, I ain't even, I'm not even talking about that, I'm talking about the fact is that as long as you can get it into your mouth, into your nose, or wherever else, that demon is just waiting, that's when it gets its entry. 